Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And let's pretend I haven't reviewed any G3 stuff. I mean, we have a playlist already, but like we're gonna say Frankie's my first doll and we're just gonna go with that, okay? Thank you. <laughs> anyways, here's the shout outs from the last video. If you want a shout out, watch till the end and you'll find out how to get one. But anyways, guys, today we are looking at G3 Frankie. Now I'm not sure when I'm posting this video. It's either gonna be the week before this doll comes out or October 1st and moving forward. I don't know. We'll see what the plan is. I have Frankie looking back at me and they have been waiting to come out of their prison for a while now and I have been dying to get them out because as you guys know Frankie's my favorite character and I need to get this out. Anyways, roll the intro Jay. And Hi. So this is G3 Frankie. If you guys are unaware what G3 is, this is the new reboot that's happening for 2022. As you guys know, Monster High has been kind of dead for a few years, minus the collector drops that have been coming out. So this is Monster High's like big return to most major retail stores for a new generation of children. And of course, children are the main mindset for these dolls. But I do feel like they do have some qualities for OG fans in the dolls. They're obviously not going to be like the originals, which were a little more edgy. Honestly, I think that these dolls do the trick well some characters do but i think frankie fits in very well with the g1 universe in my head at least i don't know i feel like their face just kind of gives the g1 energy now they are blue but you know i don't know why <laughs> but i mean i'm not too mad at the blue skin i mean you guys know me by now i really love blue but anyways enough of me rambling let's look at frankie's box so the box design for g3 is kind of similar to the end of g1 when they decided to give us the doll on a blister and then a plastic frame over them it does still open like an original monster high box and it isn't like the g2 boxes which you had to kind of rip them open so you can preserve these boxes if you would like but unlike the originals there is no coffin shapes on that and i believe they didn't do that anymore because i think they didn't want it to look like a high schooler in a coffin box as you guys may know so that's just my assumption that it may be true it may be false that's just what i've gathered but as you can see it kind of looks like three like triangles i'm not sure how to explain what this is giving the back of the box is very colorful so we have a bunch of shades kind of mixing and they almost on into each other pink purple blue yellow green you can see frankie is in the middle of the box by the way guys frankie goes by they them pronouns in this reboot they are a non-binary character so please respect their pronouns and their accessories are on the side now one thing about this reboot is the monster high logo has pretty much stayed the same they added just this kind of like shift to it which is really cool honestly expected them to completely change the logo so i'm happy that they kept it original and then we have the new artwork style on the side we have dracula Frankie and Laguna and this is Frankie's pet Watsy and it says their name right there now for the artwork I'm not the biggest fan of it it has grown on me and on the bottom you can see Watsy is looking up at Frankie and it even has a little name pointing at them I would like to see them do like a more cardboard box rather than a plastic lid just for the environment I feel like this is a lot of plastic we're wasting <laughs> on the side it says Monster High so you'll know a Monster High dolls in the store by seeing this we have a lot of Frankie art so we have a little stitched heart with a lightning bolt we have a hand that's just waving safety pin lightning bolt, their cell phone, their sunglasses, and their bag. And then if we turn to the back of the box, you can see the Monster High High School. We have four of the ghouls sitting on the stairs. This is Monster High up there. And we have a full body art of Frankie. And below that, we have Frankie Stein's characteristics. So Frankie's monster type this time around is a full stage as a Franken monster. Her monster must-haves are an eye coffin and screecha. And her monster pet is Watsy. And then it says it in three different languages right there. There's the Monster High website. I'm not sure if it's up still. Um, we'll have to see. And there is Frankie's barcode if you're still looking for them but anyways guys that is pretty much their box like i said i don't mind the new box style it kind of reminds me of the end of 2015 early 2016 but anyways guys let's get frankie freed from their prison so we can actually look at them and touch them i've been so long and uh but anyways guys let's get them open Okay guys, so Frankie is out of the box and these dolls are pretty easy to open. These dolls also do not come with stands, by the way, only come with the accessories you see in the box. Anyways, let me show you everything that Frankie comes with and then we can move on to Frankie. So first things first, G3 dolls now come with one extra piece of like clothing or an accessory. So Frankie's is pretty much a little varsity jacket. It's kind of made of a stretchy polyester, kind of spandex feeling material. It's a blue top and a bottom. The cuffs are blue as well. It kind of 
kind of design. So we have a black on this side with pink lightning bolts and then this side is white and it has an MH logo along with a skullette and some lightning bolts and stitches. This sleeve is black with the lightning bolts as well and on the back it is just a pink skullette. The jacket isn't lined inside and I will try this on Frankie towards the end of the video so stay tuned for that. For Frankie's bag this time around they get a little lightning bolt kind of blue transparent backpack. The front it has a little decal of a lightning bolt that looks like it's been stitched along with a skullette and it also has this charm that does come off. It is pink and it has a light bulb, a lightning bolt, an F for Frankie. The bag does open up and I feel like you could put the accessories they come with inside so that's really cool. Next we got the Watsy figurine and this is a new mold obviously so Watsy is no longer <laughs> I think a thing unless Watsy kind of just took over Watsy's place but Watsy kind of has some similarities to Watsy so it looks like they are a bunch of creatures in one. They look like a dog from the first glance and then you can see a lot more creatures are in there like there is a, a tentacle. <laughs> they have blue lightning bolt wings that are transparent. I don't believe they come out. Pink bandana collar. Their eyes are pink and this side has yellow eyeshadow on. They have a green tuft of hair. They do kind of feel hollow but I mean again pets are not my biggest thing either. I kind of just put these in a drawer. I don't even display my basics with their pet. Next Frankie comes with a pair of sunglasses. Now these are an original G1 mold. They are from this Frankie to be exact. They are the same color but they are a little more foggy than those ones. I'll bring that Frankie out towards the end to show you what that looks like. But yeah I'm kind of shocked that they brought back some of the original G1 accessories. The next accessory is this Polaroid camera. It's mainly a hot pink color. It has a lot of texture I hear that kind of reminds me of a waffle cone and then this is kind of the ice cream dripping. So it's white drippy on the top. There is an eye for the lens and some teeth on the bottom to look like a monster and that's what the back of it looks like. There's also this little slot in it so you can put the Polaroids that come with Frankie. So Polaroid 1 is Claudine and Cleo in Boo York and it's actually the original Boo York background from 2015 so that's a really cool. It is very pixelated but it is a really cute little detail. It's made of a white plastic. And then we have one for Scaris and again the background is the same from 2013 but this time we have Draculaura, Claudine, and Frankie and it just says Scaris. And if I bring back the little Polaroid you can put the pictures inside of it and it does store both of them perfectly. They do come out pretty easily but I mean I'm gonna probably just keep them in the Polaroid camera itself and it should be all good. So the G3 ghouls really love their food so Frankie comes with a slice of Screecha and it's just a pizza slice that's in the shape of a lightning bolt and I do actually like the design of the cheese and the sauce it kind of looks like a spider web. Their last accessory is their eye coffin and it is a lightning blue phone. The back is a heart and has a bunch of electricity zapping from it and you can see all the app icons. I think this would be great for an original Monster High doll too so if you do want to give these to your original ghouls that would be awesome. It is quite pixelated which is sad but I mean I can still see what it's trying to like portray. So I'm gonna see how this looks on Frankie at the end as well. Okay guys so now that we pretty much looked at all of Frankie's accessories it's time to actually look at Frankie themselves and honestly I really am excited for G3 Frankie. So far all of their dolls have been looking amazing and I am really excited to get all of them. As you guys may know I'm a big Frankie stan and I have pretty much all G1 Frankies. I don't collect G2 because you know it's G2. We're not gonna talk about G2. But this is Frankie from G3. So there's a lot different with them obviously but there are some things that have stayed pretty true to the original design. So obviously a big difference here is their skin tone. It is now a kind of light blue color. It almost gives off a corpse bride kind of vibe. Frankie is typically a mint green. I kind of have been like seeing G3 Frankie a lot more lately and honestly I kind of gotten used to the blue skin. And obviously all of the G3 dolls have new head sculpts. And these head sculpts actually have slightly bigger ears and you can actually see the earring is actually on the lobe of the ear unlike normal dolls. I think that's actually a really cool detail. But anyways guys let's start from Frankie's hair and move down to their shoes. So Frankie's hair is still platinum white with black streaks but they've added this blue streak now into it which I think actually looks really good. But Frankie's hair is pretty much pulled to one side with a little elastic here and it is pulled on this side as well but I am going to let that down so the hair can hang a little more free. And on this side we have two little hair clips that are the same mold. One is blue and one is hot pink and they just clip into the hair. Frankie does have a middle part and for the hair 
it is made of saran and it is pretty thick. I kind of wish that the pre-production had this kind of thickness. And straight out of the box, the hair feels actually really, really soft. And that was another issue with my pre-production. It kind of just felt weird. Yeah, I'm definitely going to just boil wash it and look, make it look all nice. So expect a G3 hair washing video eventually. I will love to do that. But yeah, this is the good hair. This is saran. It's what they typically use for Monster High dolls. I was kind of thinking that the blue was going to be polypropylene, but it actually is saran. So that's actually really good. So now if we move on to Frankie's face, they have darker eyebrows and you can actually see all the individual hair strokes in them. They are a little pixelated in the eyebrows, but it's not too bad. It's not Barbie level, you know? <laughs> they have an eyebrow piercing, but it almost looks like a staple in their eyebrow. Frankie still has heterochromia, so one eye is blue and one is green, just like G1 and all other reiterations of Frankie. Their eyeshadow look this time around is yellow and it buffs out with some black and you can see all of the eyelashes. Now, this is something that G2 was lacking makeup, obviously, so I'm happy to see that makeup looks have returned and I really want them to experiment with makeup. I think it'll look really good for these dolls. Frankie still has their little scar stitch on their cheek right there. It's just not as big as the original. And for Frankie's lipstick color, it's kind of like this light pink, but almost like a salmon color at the same time. A lot of people were wishing it was like the dark red that their original doll had. And I kind of agree. I think that would have been a cute little homage to G1. And Frankie also has some light blushing on their cheeks. There are these highlighter yellow lightning bolt earrings and the stud is kind of like a little bolt, which is really cute. Now Frankie's stitches this time around aren't as stylized as the original. So they're kind of just like stitches, you know, like if you were to stitch up something and they're just black. Frankie also does not have neck bolts anymore, which I'm not sure the exact reason for that. I think it's a copyright issue. If we move on to Frankie's school girl outfit this time around, it's a three piece outfit. So we have the sweater vest and then the undershirt. So the sweater vest is made of just kind of like a thin sweater material, but it's like not like a high quality sweater material. That makes sense. It's black and it has a blue and pink outlining along with a bunch of little white stitches on it. I do think it's really cute and I'm happy it is a separate piece. So in case you want to dress this up a little more or dress it down, you totally can. And under that, they are wearing this blouse with puffed out sleeves and it is made of a white cotton and it is hemmed at the sleeves, which is nice to see. And it also has a white collar. And then for the print on it, we have a bunch of lightning bolts that are blue and pink. Now, one thing I really like about Frankie's design this time around is there is a lot of the trans flag colors in their design. So I'm really here for that. I'm honestly just really happy that G3 Frankie is non-binary. I'm so happy. I remember before we found out, I was kind of hoping they were going to do that. If we move down to Frankie's skirt, it is a pleated skirt that is high waisted and it has a plaid design all through it. So we have some pinks, purples, white, blue, yellow. And I do think it fits very well with the top portion of their outfit. And it's just made of a cotton and it is hemmed at the bottom. If you have G3 Torali, it's kind of the same material and kind of the same style, actually. If we move on to Frankie's belt, they are wearing a three tier chain belt. In the middle, it says Frankie. And on the bottom, we have some a little decals. So we have a lock, a safety pin, and a lightning bolt. And I actually really do like this belt. It kind of reminds me of a belt I've seen on Frankie before, but I just can't pinpoint it. Now, something cool about Frankie and G3 also is they have a prosthetic leg. It's kind of like a little robot leg, and I think it's super duper cool. So it's a silver color. It's not really super duper shiny, but I would assume if we ever get like Comic-Con dolls of these dolls, I think they would actually maybe go the whole mile and make it metallic. I think that would be super cool. Just like a collector G3 Frankie would be really dope with that kind of vibe. But they also signed their own little leg. There's a light bulb, a lightning bolt, Frankie's original skelet, a stitched heart. And you can just see all the details in this leg. There's a bunch of rivets and bolts and stitches, some battery compartment. And even for the ankle, it has a bunch of little gears. Kind of reminded me of Rebecca Steam. And they have a normal Monster High G3 foot underneath it. It's kind of reminding me of LED too. Now, if we move on to Frankie's shoes, there are these kind of converses, but they kind of remind me of like a Frankenstein boot at the same time. They're a pink color. They have this green lightning bolt on both sides. There's a blue line right here. Sole and this part are white. The laces are black and tied up. And there is a slit so the doll's foot can go in and out pretty easily. Now, if I'm correct, all G3 dolls have the same foot size, but I do know that their heights and body types are completely different, which is really cool. Speaking of that, Frankie has the tallest body type in G3 so far. And I believe Draculaura has the shortest. And then Claudine has the basic model body. So I'm actually really happy that they introduced new body types into this collection. So guys, now I'm going to take Frankie's clothes off. Yes, 
I know that sounds very wrong, but I just want to show you their body so we can go over articulation because if you're new to G3, I want to show you all the points of articulation that these dolls have. And before I take off their clothes, this is what their undershirt looks like. It's actually really nice. It's kind of like a crop top too. So this is the G3 body for Frankie. So as you can see, they are quite tall. And eventually when I get all of G3, I will show you the collection in kind of full basically. And we can see all the heights and differences that way. But let's go over articulation. So Frankie can move at their head like a normal monster high doll. They can move at their shoulder, their elbows, their wrists. They have this new motion, which is at their chest. And we only saw like three monster high dolls from the original wave have this. And I've always said that I really wish that they would have done this back in the day. They can sit and this is how far they can do a split and their knees do bend. Now I am going to go get another Frankie and show you the body comparison of how they've changed so much. So uh, let me go get one. So we have Gloom Beach Frankie and we have the new Core G3 Frankie. As you can see, the proportions have changed quite drastically, actually. The newer dolls do have more of a figure, but, but they aren't as skinny as the original G3 dolls. You can also see the skin change for Frankie. And for the heads, I feel like they are just a smidge bigger than the original. And as you can see, the height of this doll is also taller. You can see the stitches have also changed along with the underwear mold and no bolts on this new Frankie. And as I was mentioning earlier, these sunglasses are the same sculpt as you can see these ones are just more transparent and these ones are more foggy i actually do like the originals a lot better because you can actually see the dolls clear so yeah because i brought out gloom beach frankie i'm going to try the swimsuit on this frankie to see if it fits and we can see if they could swap shoes too okay guys so here is g3 frankie in gloom beach frankie's little bathing suit so the little wrap doesn't really fit so let me just take that off the bathing suit actually does fit them very well but again you can see some cheeked clothes from monster high that have some kind of stretch will fit g3 pretty well. As for shoes, um, sadly, they do not fit the G3 foot, so I'm very sad about that. I put Gloom Beach Frankie in to G3 Frankie's outfit, and it's super baggy on them. Even the shoes look a little dorky. I feel like some pieces could probably get away with it, like the belt, but yeah, this looks very dorky. <laughs> Pro tip, if you are not used to Monster High dolls, hi, their hands and their arms do come off, so you can easily disrobe them. So all you gotta do is hold the wrist and make sure you're not holding the actual joint and the hand should just come off. The arm is just a little more tricky. But once you get it out, it should be all good. I do like how the joints are a little stiffer on the G3 doll. Okay guys, so I put Frankie in to their little jacket. They kind of look a little weird in it. I'm not sure how I feel about it, but you know, we'll, we'll see what I can do with it. I put Frankie next to Creep Production Frankie and 2010 Original Frankie, just to show you the differences. Now, I'm not sure why I chose the two of the same doll pretty much, but you know, different qualities. As you can see, the height difference in this Frankie compared to this Frankie is quite drastic. I feel like this Frankie almost has a bigger sister body kind of vibe, but you can also see how both dolls have changed over the past 12 years. So this is what the original looked like. And then this is of course the creep production from this year. 12 years ago, this doll would have cost 16 to $19 in 2010, of course. And this one is costing $24. And honestly, I feel like the quality is somewhat similar, but there are a little bit more details on this one compared to this one. But you do get more clothes with this one and obviously more pieces. The original did come with a purse, a pet, a stand, a brush, and a diary. This one comes with four piece outfit, a purse, a pet, seven accessories, and that's it. You do not get a stand, you do not get a brush, and you do not get a diary. So I'm assuming that Mattel is trying to get people to watch the show to kind of understand the characters a little more and maybe push the website as well like they did back in the day, which would explain why they don't have a diary. And I believe they didn't give us a stand, diary, and brush because they wanted to give us the extra fashion piece and the extra accessories. So I'm not sure how I feel about that. I do kind of still wish they came with stands, like something cute for G3, but you never know, they might do it further down the line. Until then, I am using a male. Oh. As I was saying before, that Frankie rudely dropped seeing a male Monster High stand. I got this on the Mattel Parts website. They're like $3 each. But yeah, it fits them pretty snugly, especially if they have an extra piece like a jacket on. Okay guys, so I put Frankie out of their jacket because I kind of didn't like how it was looking on the stand. I don't know, we'll, I'll play around with it. And this is how I post them. I can't wait to wash their hair and take this bit down. But anyways guys, that pretty much ends off my G3 Frankie review. Honestly, I love this doll a lot. <laughs> I have been waiting for this doll to come out and I've had them for probably a week. These dolls 
Styles do retail for $24.99, by the way, and should be available everywhere on October 1st. And honestly, I am actually really happy with them. I feel like the quality of them isn't too bad. I feel like a lot of people mistake the word quality and design. So if you don't like the design, say that. And if you don't like the quality, then mention that as well. But the quality on these dolls isn't horrible. It kind of reminds me of 2014 to 2015 Monster High quality, and we ate that up back in the day. Would I love Rainbow High quality on Monster High? 100%. That'd be iconic. You do get a lot of play pieces if you are looking for that for photography, or if you are a child, you can actually play with the little pieces. So I think that is really good. And I am actually quite happy that most of the dolls have several pieces of clothing. So you can really mix and match the outfits if you really, really wanted to. I am quite sad that they don't come with stands and I had to provide them with my own. Um, I understand some of them can stand on their own because they have flatter feet, but still I do feel like a stand is more stable than just relying on gravity. I could live without a brush, but again, if this is someone's first doll, they might need a brush, so I'm not sure. Some of my critiques though for Frankie are, I've noticed in the community for people who've gotten these dolls early, stitch marks are kind of rubbing off because they're not properly sealed. I've and with the original Frankie, they kind of had like this kind of glossy sealant on all their stitches. And I kind of noticed that it's not like that for this doll. So I'm probably gonna have to seal them myself. I had to do that with Torlai. So for future dolls, I feel like they need to seal it just a little better. And I feel like it would be perfectly fine. I am happy that there's no more glue in Monster High dolls heads and it is perfectly fine to boil wash. I have gotten used to Frankie's redesign now because I have just been really looking at the doll a lot lately. So I am pretty used to how they look now. I love how they are a non-binary character. I am very excited to see how Mattel possibly may expand on characters depth. But yeah, anyways guys, let me know your thoughts on G3 so far. And if I was to rate Frankie, I'd give them a 9 out of a 10. Again, I'm being a little biased because it's Frankie, but I feel like it's a 9 out of 10 because like they don't have the stand and some of the clothing pieces are just a little mm, and obviously the sealant. But anyways guys, if you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Jay and I do doll stuff, duh. And I would love to join my channel. I'm going to be covering all G3 and G1 releases that we get along with Rainbow High stuff and all that jazz. And if you aren't following me on Instagram or on TikTok, it's at ZombieXCorn as well. And guys, do you want a shout out in my next video? Oh, well, you've come to the right place. Comment this emoji and the first three people who do it will get it in the next video. Yeah. And guys, I will see you in my next video. But for now, bye.